President Volodymyr Zelensky faced the world's press from a makeshift platform constructed in one of Kyiv's metro stations. He said one of his priorities was the evacuation of people caught up in the siege of Mariupol, but that it was difficult to trust the Russians. We offered any format for the exchange of our people who are currently in this predicament, in this terrible situation, in this bloody encirclement. He warned that he would break off talks with Russia if the remaining Ukrainian troops in Mariupol's Azovstal steel plant were killed. If our men are killed in Mariupol, and if these pseudo-referendums are organized in the south, then Ukraine will withdraw from any negotiation process. Twice the president paused to make way for a passing train. We hear from President Zelensky on a daily basis, but this is the first large press conference since the beginning of the war, and it's happening 70 meters underground in one of the metro stations of Kyiv. And actually, when the capital was under threat, you had hundreds of people here seeking shelter. The president appeared relaxed. He said he was grateful for the kind of weapons his country was receiving of late from the United States and Western allies but reminded people that without additional weapons, there would be no fight. I do not consider the option that our partners will not give us the weapons they promised. I do not consider this option at all. They have no alternative. We will not provide them with this opportunity. We have no other chance to win back our land. But Zelensky also wondered about the upcoming visit of UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, who is visiting Moscow before coming to Kyiv. I think it's a mistake to visit Russia first, then Ukraine. This is simply wrong. For what? To hand over a message from Russia? Russia? Asked by Al Jazeera if he wanted to pursue people for war crimes. I don't care whether it's in The Hague or somewhere in Ukraine. What matters is how many will be imprisoned and for how long. Another strong performance from the Ukrainian president in a remarkable setting. A president dealing smoothly and efficiently with the international media. But also President Zelensky, the realist, as Ukraine faced more military action Saturday including a missile strike on an apartment block in Odessa that killed a three-month-old baby. Hod Abdelhamid, Al Jazeera, Kyiv.